Welcome to our backyard. We have taken you through all the spaces inside of our home that we have completed and now I'm taking you to our outdoor patio and living space and showing you all the things that we've done in our backyard. It is amazing to me how many questions we have gotten about our backyard because I am not a landscape designer, but I've had a lot of fun dabbling in the design of outdoor spaces. We are on our covered patio here to give you some references to where this is in our home. Our dining room is right here and our living room is behind these doors and these bifolds all the way open so we can have this really great indoor outdoor living effect. I love having an indoor outdoor rug to ground this space and also feel like an extension of the inside. To finish off the space we hung three lanterns in a row when we're standing in the back of our backyard looking towards the house it's a really beautiful effect. We spend a lot of time on our patio. In the summertime, we hang out and we orient our furniture towards the backyard. And when it gets cooler, we switch things around and face the fireplace. This all opens up to our dining and fire pit area. We did this diamond concrete paver and I love that it feels just a little bit formal and dresses up the patio. We've got our dining table, a built-in barbecue, smoker, Sid's domain. It's a 48 inch long barbecue by DCS which is owned by Fisher Paykel and it has a rotisserie and then we did the built-in drawers. We built this surround with brick from the exterior of our home and then we did a honed bluestone that matches the pavers on our front porch. So those two kind of tie together. And then we have this living area over here with our fire pit as the center. It's not a pre-made fire pit. We built it when we did the home. We ran a gas line to it and then used the same brick on the exterior of our house to face the fire pit and then filled it with these cool gray stones. I am standing in our garden, which is our pride and joy, especially over the last few months. I always wanted a garden area, so when we were planning our house, made sure to carve out some space for some raised garden boxes. We used cedar that ties in with the material that we used on our fence and also our shingles on our roof. We did them about 20 or so inches high and we did this ledge around. So it's really great to set shovels, gloves, sit on the edge of these when you're working on them. I didn't line them, maybe I should have, but I didn't. And then we filled them with an organic soil. This bed used to be lettuce until it got too hot and now we're doing potatoes and artichokes. We have herbs, lots of tomatoes, peppers, watermelon, cantaloupe, spaghetti squash. It's been so fun, such a fun family activity. Sid loves it. The kids love coming out and checking on all the baby plants. And I have some flowers as well. I'm growing cosmos and roses and all sorts of things. And it is my happy spot. When we moved in, we had these big old trees that were very shabby. So we cleaned them up and we're trying to get some new growth on them, but they're really old and large and they just create so much shade. We decided to hang a hammock in the corner and we'll go and lay back here. It's really peaceful. I, I love this corner and I love the view from standing over here and looking back at our house. You can kind of just take in the whole backyard. To tie in with our cedar shingles 
and our cedar garden boxes. We also did a cedar fence. I wanted to keep it really clean. We did a horizontal plank and then left it raw because we moved in in the fall and then things got crazy and we didn't stain it right away which was a mistake because then the boards kind of started warping a little bit but then we finally got around to it this spring and i tried several different stain colors and ended up going with a color called woodridge and it's an exterior stain by sherwin williams and it's worked really great it kind of just enhanced the warmth of the natural wood but made it more uniform throughout the whole fence Moving over to the girls' favorite part of the yard, the playhouse and the in-ground trampoline. The playhouse is awesome. Tyler was incredible when building our home and we used extra materials to create this beauty of a playhouse. We set it up so that there would be a shaded sandbox below. They are always just running down the slide, up the ramp, painting their nails in the playhouse. It's just like, it's their domain and they spend so much time in here. On the other side of the playhouse, we have an in-ground trampoline. This must be a Utah thing because people always ask like, how did you do that? And they're everywhere here, so you just Dig a hole and you buy a trampoline. This one is from Trampolines Down Under and it's just level with the ground. And it's amazing because I'm not as stressed about the kids like falling off and then you don't have to have the net and they can just kind of like run on and off it all day. I know I'm getting old because I was extremely excited about getting a shed this year. After we started the garden, we started amassing like mulch and dirt and tools and we needed a place to put it because Sid puts a lot of bikes. And then we have our cars in the garage. We matched this siding to the color on our house and did these little window boxes. And it's very utilitarian. It's not like a, you know, she shed where there's like a desk inside. It really just has a lot of equipment and it's great to hide it away in a cute spot. So to create these pathways from one area of our backyard to the next, I liked that juxtaposition of a very linear, modern look against our traditional exterior of the home. I looked into buying them pre-made, but they all came a little bit smaller than what I needed. And so we decided to do two by four squares poured in place. And we did that when we poured our driveway and the diamonds on the patio. All of that was done at the same time and they just created forms. We did that up our front walk. I didn't really pick a color. I just told them I wanted a light concrete and this is what I got and it looks, it looks good. You've heard me talk about our bedroom before, this black box, and it's still one of my favorite things that we did in our home with all the white and the natural stone. Just wanted this bit of depth here, and it's a great surprise. When I was designing this black box, I thought to myself, so just imagine this black box with white hydrangeas and lavender in front, and I'm sure that our builder thought I was like totally nuts, but it came together and the hydrangeas are growing in and so is the lavender and the boxwoods. We did this paneling around, you can see the copper gutter detail, and then we tied in the copper with these rejuvenation gooseneck lights. One of my favorite things about designing a home on the interior is that it's always something that can evolve over time and I'm discovering that that's the same for your yard space and I love where we're at now. I have plans to add layers and more landscaping to the yard and we're putting in a pool really soon that they start digging in just a couple of weeks. So we've got more on the horizon but just like anything we're just taking it one step at a time. Mm -hmm.